Hi, my name is Chelsea Tucker and I am a doctoral researcher at the Catalysis Institute at the University of Cape Town in South Africa. And I am the research coordinator for the Global Waste to Fuel Initiative. So as a child, I wanted to be an engineer and an inventor. And luckily I work in a lab now that I get to do both. Today I want to break the wall on energy and security in Africa. This is a image from NASA showing the Earth at night and essentially the electrification of our globe. Now, whilst the Northern Hemisphere is entirely lit up, Africa is energy scarce and this has tangible effects of, on the development in the region, including severe power outages, with some regions in West Africa going up to 4,600 hours without electricity every year. That's 190 days. And even regions that do have enough generation often don't have very good distribution, especially to remote and rural regions. Now, in order to combat this, many governments um, use diesel generators as a way of backup in electricity generation. However, the oil refining capacity, the capacity to make liquid fuels on the continent is very low, only 2.3% of the entire world. Now, what this means is that we import most of our fuels from overseas, leaving us vulnerable to oil price shocks and toxic fuel blends. Now, I'm not here to say that we should dig anything out of the ground, but as Africa is on the precipice of energy generation, perhaps it's time that we look at a way to generate both electricity and diesel on a decentralized basis that can reach those remote regions that is both sustainable and equitable for all Africans. Today, I would like you to introduce you to the decentralized diesel system, the modular off-grid waste to fuel process that can work in any region regardless of infrastructure, as long as it has organic waste, food waste, farm waste, even sewerage. Now, this is based off of something called the fisher Trops process that has been used for over 50 years to create fuel from coal in South Africa. Now, we have redesigned this process, so now we can use waste as a raw material. That waste is transformed into biogas, which is eventually then turned into fuel. And we've developed a brand new novel catalyst that not only speeds up this process, but allows us to work on a modular decentralized scale. Finally, we've created a simplified refining unit that allows us to create those two very valuable products, high quality diesel and low carbon electricity. So what exactly makes this research innovative? Well, in order to modularize this technology, which is typically done in a very large scale, we've had to remove a step in the process that is very energy intensive and costs a lot, and that is the air separation unit. Now, this pretty much does what you think. It separates air into its constituent parts, oxygen and nitrogen. Nitrogen being an inert doesn't really do anything in the process. However, removing this unit has a knock-on effect that affects the production of liquid fuels in the fission trops reactor. Specifically, it damages the catalyst. <laughs> Now what we've done is we've created a brand new novel catalyst that is robust enough to not get damaged under the conditions required for modularization, but it can also produce lots of diesel and very little other things like greenhouse gases, carbon dioxide, and methane. Well, the Decentralized Diesel Project hopes to enable a vast network of regional jobs from waste site pickers and dump site workers all the way through to engineers and entrepreneurs in the energy sector. We're wanting to bring jobs away from the industrial hubs and into communities where they're really, really needed. We want to enable these marginalized communities a way to uplift their local economies whilst creating low carbon energy on a municipal and community level. We know how to modularize the technology, but at this stage, what we want to work out is how can we make the technology flexible enough that we can change the amount of electricity and diesel and shift that based on regional requirements. <laughs>